Right, today we will look at how we can use uh, Control UI using the Quick Start template downloaded from our website qsystem.com.sg and once the Quick Start template is opened up, we can see a couple of areas where we can uh, use our Control UI to do customization. So looking at the configuration window here, you can see that there is a Control UI module this module is used to control the specific devices that can be used with this system. So in Control UI, we have the different parts. And just a quick demo, you can see uh, how the presets, the lights, aircons, AV devices, all these labels mentioned on the right side here correspond to the menu items. So if I run a debug simulation, wait for it to load. Once it's done, it will say web module loading completed. So to increase and decrease the size of this window, we can actually use our scroll button on our mouse. We open our browser and we type in localhost colon 8080. That is where the control UI is being stored on our local machine. So once we run this, okay, so now we can see that Control UI is uh, running on this it's running smoothly on the desktop. You can see the buttons here, preset in the home icon, lights, aircon, AV device, devices, all zones. We have many different ways we can customize this, customize this and we can we will look into this in depth in the following videos. But for now we will just look at how this control can be done linking up with different devices. So for today's demo, we can see that there are lights here and also a display and a screen. Now this is uh, corresponds to the devices here in the configuration window. The motor control actually controls the screen and it is actually a IR connector, meaning infrared and it needs to be connected to the controller or Q controller and the other link which is the control link connector needs to be connected to the control UI similarly for the light switch being a relay it will go to the relay portion of the controller the projector as well as an IR and of course the source can be connected to any display so moving on we have a dimmable analog channel, analog out connector. It goes to the analog out of the controller. And the control link connector again goes to the control UI. Now, in this dimmer, we have a dimmable channel for dimmable fluorescent units. And this needs to be connected. We yeah, are the RS485 to V bus. Now this can be found in the My Project Resources and we right click and we insert a Q device. This device can be found below, right here. So by looking at the connectors here and it needs to be connected to its corresponding 
uh, ports, you can actually link up all of these to control UI. Everything needs to be co connected to control UI for it to work. And of course, finally, control UI itself needs to be connected to web UI. Uh, web UI server, web server 1, using the GUI link connector to the GUI link. This is how a basic setup is done. And of course, we can add other modules inside. For example, if you want to add a preset, you can add a preset here. And we connect the preset link to a preset link one in the control UI. So now, we stop and we do a build. And we start simulation again. We'll try to see if the preset shows on the main menu. So again, you can use your scroll button to increase the size of the web builder simulation window. Once it's done, just do a refresh on our page. You can see in the debug window it's uh, showing the debug messages. Once it's done, okay. So we see here the home button is activated, enabled, and we have a preset. So what this preset runs will depend on what we put. So to do that, you need to right click on the preset itself, depends on preset the controller, and we can type whatever we want. Like for example, if we want the screen to be down, we can say we want the motor control one. Control 1, you can tell it to spin down, and when we press this preset, the screen will come down. So it's as simple as that. So this is just a basic on how we can use this Control UI to integrate with Web GUI so that it can allow easy uh, change and also easy customization for home automation. So thank you for your time again. Hope you like and subscribe to our channel.